All right, today I'm gonna to go through one of my favorite productivity tools that I've ever found. It's basically become so ingrained in my day to day now, I just forget that I use it. Um, and then I realized the other day that this is just the perfect um, sort of automation, semi-automation thing to show you guys um, because it saves me so much time. Um, basically, it's just a way to store things that you type over and over again uh, as a keyboard shortcut so you don't have to type them every time so I've got my like general ones open here which are really really simple uh, you know the, some of these are really complex and some of them are really simple but um, so for example we've got dot e there is just my email address my actual email address so sometimes I've got um, different email addresses for different uh, businesses so I might have like a Oh yeah, so content snare support email is an example. So I go content snare support email, and there it is. Um, so you do have to remember what your shortcuts are. They're pretty customizable, and you don't have to start with a um, full stop like I do. You can set your prefix um, for groups. Um, so example, if I wanted to have all of my content snare ones start with .cs, I could do that. You know, so then I could have .cse for email and .csw for website. For example, I've got w, oops, maybe I don't have w. Oh yeah, it's wa for Actura. Um, so some of the really simple ones that I use are just typing emails, I've got .c and it just types in cheers James. Like that seems really simple, but how many times do you type that a day? And it's so, uh, so simple to do that. I've got like a, a booking link. Um, that I use all the time, you can see some of them here. Um, you know, if uh, I'm on support, I might say, let me know if you have any more questions. So that's what my LMK is now. Uh, this is all just, you know, phone numbers you can do, my mobile. I've got a silly one in there for a shrug that, oops, I cannot type uh, for that silly emoji shrug. <laughs> because if I want to type that, I can't remember all the things to type. So I just, um, have it on a short list. Now, um, it goes quite a little bit beyond that too. So I'll show you a couple of other cool ones. Um, for example, you can use this in um, emails. You can actually get them to put in <clears throat> like a tab, for example. And uh, where is it? Contents. There it is, HJR. So uh, you can see here, I've got a subject line and they've pr and then um, pressing tab. So I could go in here and go HJR and it's put the subject in, press tab and move down to here. Now one level above that is um, fill-ins. So if I go, see there, it's actually popped up and said, what's the first name? So if I go Bob, it fills out Bob in here. So it's really, really bloody cool. So I've got that example somewhere. There it is. So it's got this fill in here. And so the way you do that is when you're creating a new one, whoops, um, you can go fill ins and you can say a single line field. Um, and this is where you get the tab key here. So you can have it press buttons and tab between things. Um, I haven't really played with any of this stuff, um, but yeah, you can obviously get it to add time, um, put in dates and all kinds of stuff. So it's really cool, uh, this tool. Um, I'm gonna put a link uh, below. It's gonna be at jimmyrose.me slash text expander. Uh, so you can get your hands on this. It's super cheap. I can't remember what the price is. Hang on, I'll look it up. $3.33 a month billed annually. So yeah, it's uh, not exactly going to break the bank. Um, oh yeah, and this is the last thing I was going to show you is snippet groups. So not snippet groups, public snippet groups. So these are, this is the web version of Text Expander where you can see all the things I've added on the desktop app here. Um, but you can add public groups. So there's a whole suite of different things that um, like groups of words that people have put together that you can just import right in. I haven't bothered with any of these except for the emoji cheat sheet, which is a um, 
if you're familiar with the Slack uh, style of emojis where you put a colon on each side, uh, you can do that kind of thing for emojis. And if you, so you've got, actually got to remember them, obviously. So you can have like angry faces and that kind of thing. So it can help um, speed up putting emojis in as well. I'll just go through some other examples of things I use them for. So links that I'm typing all the time. Links is a great one. So you don't have to type all the HTTP S and all that sort of the colon. So any um, blog posts that I'm often referencing to people, like I've got this one for get web design clients, very easy to remember the um, acronym for it. Um, thank you emails. Thank you for signing up. I'm not going to do that. Um, link to my Facebook group. So those kind of things I use, um, like YouTube channel links you can see here. Um, and you can see on the right panel how you set this up. So uh, you've, you just put the text you want to fill in there. You've got a label, so that's what it shows as here and here. Oops, not there. Back on my um, profile page. And the abbreviation you're going to use. And remember that the prefix is actually set at the group level. So for me, it's uh, always a dot. And I expand when uh, any character precedes the abbreviation uh, so you can actually say there has to be a white space before before the prefix and um, and you can also set what uh, triggers it to happen so expand abbreviations at delimiter so basically as soon as I press space uh, or I think tab or enter or anything works for me and see here how I've set um, abandoned delimiter. So that means if I press space, uh, it actually fills it out and then deletes the space as well. But if you wanted to keep the space, you could do that. And this is where you set. Oh, so for me, it's, yeah, there you go, space, return, enter, tab. So you can have anything to actually trigger it. You could say a dollar, whatever, if you want to um, only trigger it on dollars. But for me, I always start with a dot and end with a space for some of the overlapping ones. Like here, I use a double dot. It's totally up to you what you want to do. Um, but yeah, hopefully that saves you a ton of time. Remember, remember the link is jimmyrose.me slash text expander. I'll also drop it below. And uh, yeah, give it a go.